All right, welcome to another tutorial by Lane Creations, Log Analysis Made Easy, and we are working on building your home network and what home network would be uh, truly set if you didn't have some form of sensor. We're going to use a network sensor called Zeek, formerly known as Bro. It is basically, it will just listen to your network and it will grab all the packet captures there and summarize them into metadata and give you really easy to view data of your network. Um, really great tool. If you want to know what's going on in your network, you need to have a network sensor. And this is an inexpensive option. It just can be virtualized and you're good to go. How did I do it on my environment? Well, I came over here to Proxmox. We're using Proxmox and I just made myself a machine called Zeek. And it's port 80, uh, 192.168.1.80. I've now ver jumped into it. And we can see that I'm on that machine right there. We're going to go follow the instructions. I'm going to, uh, I'll probably link to a document so you can have these instructions. It's a relatively straightforward, but there are some stuff to do. So let's just go through it. One of the things I want to do is apt update, update minus Y. So this is just a vanilla. I've just got Splunk 2404, uh, Ubuntu 2404 here. And I'm just going to make sure it's up to date. And then I will apt upgrade minus Y. And so now I'm just going to make sure everything is up to date and upgraded. After I do that, then we're going to make sure that I have the curl command, wget, and a few other things. So we can pull these files down, run those, minus Y so it don't have to be confirmed. All right, we're good to go. Let's clear this up so we can see the screen easily enough. And now we're just going to do a curl and grab this library here. If we do this, then we'll be able to, to install uh, Zeek natively. All right, so it's happy there. Then we're going to open this, copy. Okay, now I'll paste. All right, we're good. We've run those two lines. That's now gotten me hooked to the repo. I've downloaded it. I've now hooked to that depot. And now I'm just going to update again. So we'll clear the screen. Apt update minus Y. It's got the new repo. And now all I have to do is apt install Zeek. Sure, you want to do that? Yep, I do. So while this is installing, I'll give you a little information about Zeek. Zeek will by native will be will set it up to listen on a network interface. So if you don't do anything else, any network traffic to your system, Zeek will read and then will parse it into what they call uh, protocol parsers. Um, we're going to just leave this as, as it says here, keep default mail. We'll just leave no configuration. And, but if I turn my, if I'm like on, like I'm here, I'm a virtualization, virtualized environment and there's many machines inside, I can turn the network interface on to promiscuous mode. If I do that, the virtual net, the virtual net switch will dump all of its stuff on the network so I can actually monitor all the traffic going through the switch. You can also get a wiretap and send the wiretap into your network. But honestly, we're talking about home networks and keeping things inexpensive. It's why I like the virtualization. Build your, get yourself a server with enough hardware to uh, run two or three servers. You build them like Proxmox, whatever, ESXi, Hyper-V, they all have that ability. You make that virtual switch promiscuous and now all the data comes through. All right, Zeek is up and running. So what we want to do, we can validate that just by going Zeek dash dash version. Oh, well, unfortunately I forgot, to, I skipped the steps here. We need to push this into our, so it becomes default, so that it will know to use Zeek. All right, and then we'll add this here. 
copy. This is now going to make it so that when I use the command Zeek, it knows where to find that stuff. So if I clear this, now I should be able to go to version. Yep, running Zeek 6.2. I'm good with that. And so Zeek is working. Now what we want to do is we want to set some things. We want to set what our private IP space is. And so we can do that by just copying this file or copying here. I'll just paste it. And if I run this, I'm just going to come down here and put in 10.0.0.8.0.8.172.16.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
we've got DNS logs, DHCP, con logs. If I make SSH traffic, it will catch that. If I do RDP traffic, it'll catch that. It has a whole bunch of protocol parsers and you can see all those logs. One of the things I would recommend is then grab these logs and export them to Splunk. And we can do a video on that. But for now, that's out of the scope of this this meeting, this uh, presentation. But you've got these logs, they're good, but you really wanna put them into a log system because you don't wanna be looking through these manually. Anyway, I hope this helps. I'm going to have do more videos on Zeek. This is a wonderful tool, free free to use, doesn't cost anything, doesn't is has a very low um, uh, footprint. If you download Security Onion, you'll also have Zeek, but you get all the other stuff that goes with it, and it requires a lot more resources. This is a very vanilla. You can run this on one or two cores. It doesn't take. It's not a very. Pretty much the system that re, is required to read. Um, run the operating system for Ubuntu is about all you need for Zeek to run. It does not require a lot of resources. It's really easy. Put this on your uh, put this on your virtual machines and away you go. Anyway, I uh, hope you keep coming back and that this was useful. If it is, give me a thumbs up. If you're enjoying this content, I, I encourage you to consider becoming a member. Members have special perks. You'll get videos early. You'll also get training videos. And if you have requests for stuff, I put you as a priority. A bunch of perks. It just helps this channel grow and keeps me able to do this. Um, I really appreciate all the support I can get from you guys. Anyway, uh, hope this helps you move from being a lame analyst to a ninja. Anyway. See you later.